from paper to plastic. Technology has revolutionized the way we pay. The credit card's magnetic strip changed the point of sale with one swipe. Today, we are waiving our purchases through the era of contactless payments with the help of an inbuilt chip and antenna. Contactless was founded on the principle of advancing convenience but also achieving a high level of security. How can I move faster through checkout line? How can I get into the tube fast and easy? This advance in technology has paved the way for mobile payments. Starbucks, PayPal and Apple offer digital systems that allow retail store purchases with smartphones. Consumers can now rely on virtual wallets to negotiate their daily life without using cash or a card. The future will no longer be the smartphone in the palm of your hand. It may be something you wear on your wrist. Barclaycard recently launched the BPay Band. It uses technology that can be built into other products such as a key fob. The consumers want the things that they carry and the things that they wear every day to do more for them, including payments. As technology has given us more choices, we see more of a proliferation rather than a consolidation of payment types. It's become an and, not an or. While new technology is making payments speedier, providers must convince shoppers that these transactions are safe. Apple Pay uses a fingerprint sensor to validate purchases. Biometrics is becoming a real part of transactions, which is something totally new in the world of payments in a, at a mass scale. Whether it's a wristband using the wearer's unique heartbeat or a fingerprint scanner embedded into a card, added security features and ease of use will be crucial to winning over customers with different needs. Different um, places around the world have different attitudes about making payments. Imagine having your credentials stored somewhere in a cloud, in a server that's in a secure place. And maybe you're using your biometry in a, in a way that conducts the payment based on your unique physical attributes. So I think it's about choice and creating options for everyone. In the end, whether card or cash, the smartphone is changing the way we pay as tomorrow's transformed. Mm -hmm.